Rory White, welcome to Profile. Thank you very much. I had to spend some time saying your name right there. You know, it's a tongue twister. But anyway, uh, you're CEO of Seven Crave and Crave Mart, two companies um, which are sort of changing the ways in which um, people order particular kinds of goods. In this instance, we're talking about food right. and groceries where, cave, where Crave Mart is concerned. Correct. Um, huge success, but a lot of, 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 of struggles and yeah, challenges the along the way. When you look at where you are now compared to where you were at the beginning of the journey, how do you feel? To be honest, I feel like I still have a lot in terms of a lot of way to go. Um, but I'm happy where we are. Um, we've made um, big progress, you know, but the, the needs, needs to be moved. And so I'm just thankful and I give God thanks every day you know, for what we have accomplished and where we are and we're looking forward to you know, bigger things in the future, near future. So for the folks who may not be uh, completely aware of how Seven Crave operates. Um, this is essentially a business where you can connect with different kinds of restaurants or right. eateries and um, find different kinds of food, um, food items, and order them and have people deliver them. Correct. And the idea here, you said, came from this um, notion that you wanted to fix certain kinds of problems. Right. What, what do you mean? So, I'm a country boy, you know, many persons would say. I'm from Montego Bay. And I migrated to Kingston in 2012. And I remember I was studying to be an actuary. I went to university and I did actuarial science. And actuarial science is really a lot of mathematics. And so while I was studying, I was passing the exams. These exams are very similar to what accountants would do, the ACC exams. And I remember one day I was reading something and I realized what I'm doing is not really my passion. Right? Uh, my passion was, well, is compute and computer science. And so I remember saying to my wife that even though I'm good at it, I'm good at mathematics, it's not something that keeps me up. It's not my passion. It's not what I want to do for the rest of my life. And so I decided to switch career path. She was very... You already had a job at this point. Yeah, I was uh, working. Many jobs. You had <laughs> several jobs up to this point. Correct. Um, at that point, well, I was a teacher, um, taught at Herbert Morris in Montego Bay for two years, and um, I got the job in my field in Kingston, so that's when I relocated. And I remember saying to her that um, I need to do programming and fix problems in Jamaica. And uh, I looked at her, and, uh, and I asked her what, kind of, what, what, what sort of problems we have. And, at the time, she was pregnant with my first son, and she said, boy, Rory, we can't find food. <laughs> and, you know, she's craving a lot of food, and, you know, we, we couldn't find it. Now, time we had one or two places, you know, Cody's, some of the places, that they were the only places we knew at the time. And so I said, you know what, I'm gonna fix that problem. I'm going to build something that will allow us to find food. And I went and gathered the best team that I could I've gotten at the time, you know, some of the smartest persons I know. And I said, listen, we do, some of you know to code, some of us don't know to code. I'm, I'm going to learn to code just to build it, right? And so I got done, you know, start cracking, start getting get to code just to build the app. Uh, my wife, she really gave me time, even after her son was born, um, she really believed in what I wanted to achieve. And so, you know, I'm, I'm really grateful for her just to give me the time to build this out and, you know, build something that I see could change Jamaica for the better. Because you are building a business, at the same time you are learning, you are learning how, how to, to do code. computer coding Correct. and programming in order to get this done. Right. At the same time you had a full-time job. Full-time job, and a part-time job um, at Maths Unlimited. I was teaching applied mathematics. And I also taught on the weekends with one-on-one, -on -one, as my, one of my good friends, Ricardo Allen. Um, and you know, we were doing, I was doing all of these things. And so I, you know, I, I just set out that, listen, I, I need to make this thing work. 
But, but the idea you had, had at the time was not what Seven Crave is, no. No. This was something called Innovative. So Innovative Menu Solutions is the company, right? Mm -hmm. Seven Crave, well, although we trade as Seven Crave, that's a product, that's yes. a, the app, because she was craving, so you know, the Crave. The seven at the front is just a number that represents perfection. It's a, it's a whole number. It's but the idea here wasn't a food delivery service. It wasn't a food delivery service. It was, at first it was a service that allows a person to find food and you could actually you know, go there and buy whatever food. So you could search and find the food. And I remember right before launch, I looked at my team and I was saying, guys, why are we showing persons all of these nice food and they can't get it? And uh, I said, they need to get it. And um, I said, how, gonna, how, how, how are we going to do that? And that's where we started to plug on, plug on the delivery arm, right? And I actually overestimated all of Seven Crib. I thought, okay, I would. I We're going to love this. Yeah. And I thought, have I lots thought, of customers. Yeah, we're going to launch. It's going to be booming. It's going to blow. Yeah. We, going we, to we, I mean, we won't have. You know, hands to do this thing, and we have hands to sell. For. Yeah, I remember we did that. We did a, um, we did, we did this Facebook page. You know, coming soon. We had three thousand likes, and everybody said, "Okay, we're ready." And I remember we, when we launched in 2015, so we launched like a, a pre-launch, and when we released it, opened up the first day, and the day finished, and. Not even one other. Zero Damn. deliveries. Not Zero <laughs> deliveries, right? And I remember I was like, we are the people, <laughs> right? We are the people who, who like the Facebook page. Uh, we are the people who are saying this is a good idea. And uh, I mean, I, at first I kind of felt demotivated. I was like, hold on, hold on, what's happening here? But I said, you know what? Forget it, I'm, I'm just going to continue working on the product. The next day, we got you were not dissuaded by all of that. No, I mean, you were demotivated, but you decided you're gonna continue. Continue, right? Okay, and just made the product better, right? And so, I'm saying, hopefully they will come, right? If I focus on the product, and I get word of mouth out, you know, get it out there, they will come. How was day two? Um, day two, we got one order, <laughs> right? and um, the one order we got. So at that time we didn't contract the delivery person, we said there was one other delivery company. Um, they're not in existence now, but we use them to, um, we pretty much get the order, we send it to them, and they would do the delivery. And the one customer got a bad service. The one <laughs> customer we got to, we were so excited. They send the order over and they the deliver the people food late. late. We, we actually have to take the break right now on Profile. My guest is Rory White. He's the Chief Executive Officer of Seven Crave, an online food delivery service, and also Crave Mart as well. We're going to come back after the break and talk a little bit about the challenges and the expansion of the business. And we're also going to go back and see, you know, well, we're going to talk a little bit about the future as well. Stick around. We're back right after these messages.